Welcome to the Real Andy of Beverly Hills Show. Girl, it's Emily Simpson exposing Alexis Bellino bad behavior with production and his staff. Girl, we need to talk about it. But before we get into it, welcome, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And if you are new here, well, welcome to the Beverly Troop, where I keep it real and I mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the Bravoverse with the pop culture street and more, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. And before we start, we need to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people from Rose Forever. Rose Forever are beautiful and amazing real roses that last up to a year. Mm -hmm. They have special oils. This bouquet right here has been with me for like six months already. And look how beautiful it looks, okay? Like literally perfection, right? They have different colors, different shapes, different size. They ship everywhere around the world. So girl, if you want to get your roses, go to my link on the description below. And just by clicking on it, you will automatically get 20% off. Okay. No need of a code or anything like that. Um, so go and get your roses from Rose Forever. Okay, guys. So let's talk about this mess. I think it's not a surprise to absolutely anyone that Emily Simpson is not a fan of Alexis Bellino. Okay, like she, like after that reunion, I think Emily was like, I am done with this girl, this little girl trying to play this game, you know. She called Alexis like left and right. She called her out, you know. She didn't let her pass one thing you know and that part when she screamed with uh um alexis called them uh twiddle twiddle did and twiddle dumb something like that you know and she's like i am not dumb like you are this the, the most stupid fucking dumb person i have ever met something like that i was just screaming at that tv i was like yes girl yes i mean i love you know that i love emily simpson you know like I'm so sorry. I think she's one of those housewives who just keep it real, who won't keep their mouth shut, you know? And I, she's just like, she's an amazing housewife, okay? I think I read somewhere that if she moves into the next housewife, she's going to be a housewife for the same amount of time that I think during the medley or something like that, which is such like a big, like she has been what, like already I want to see six or seven years already a housewife girl like time passed so fast and i have i i always have loved emily because she keep it real she doesn't care about what people think you know she just put everything out there no matter what you know and this is no different she was done with alexis okay she might have like kind of like tiptoe around her you know or kind of like entertain her a little bit here and there but she has always been very like upfront into saying, girl, I don't met with this bitch. You know, I don't like her. This, they are never going to be BFF. I don't think Emily is ever going to be inviting Alexis to like have dinner at her house or coffee or anything because the whole thing, that, that whole thing is, is just a mess right there. I'm all right. But anyways, now Emily Simpson is supposedly exposing Alexis Bellino, not only because she is a bad housewife, but because apparently she is a terror with people and she treat staff and production like shit, mm -hmm. which I have to tell you, I, I, I would not be surprised. Okay. Um, so this is what Emily has to say. She says, Emily Simpson, who also attend the watch party, recall that she was annoyed the first time she filmed with Alexis. She claimed that Alexis arrived two hours late to film and then 
had a full nervous breakdown when she noticed that her skirt had chocolate on it. Um, she says, by the time I got in the car with her, I was done. Alexis was so mean to production, and that is a huge turn off to me. According to Emily, she already had a really bad taste in my mouth when the friend of brought receipts about John's alleged loan to a dinner. It seems so premedi premedi premeditated, girl, how you read that? Latino moment, guys. You know what I mean. It seems so premeditated and planned out and methodical and then bringing up the videos and using it in a blackmail type of way when she didn't immediately agree to pay the full amount. She went on, I don't want to be on the show with someone like that. I think that there has to be boundaries. It gets dirty on housewives sometimes, and that is where I draw the line. Girl. I am not surprised that Alexis is a mean person to the staff, you know? Um, and to be very honest with you, it is not the first time that I'm hearing something around uh, this uh, situation. I think she is an entitled person. I think she thinks that the war owes her something because you were on a show... I don't know how many years ago, okay? But to recall Miss Shannon Bedore, oh, you are a TV star, right, right, because you were eating your ex fiance's mouth on below deck. Like, this is like, or talking about Booty Awareness Day on Fox News a thousand years ago. Yes, you are a TV star, right? I think that that entitlement has never, ever, ever left. Alexis uh, body you know and I think at this point she the world the universe is trying to humble her down so much now is she understanding that I don't think so you know and I think that this is one of the reasons why Emily has always such a problem with her Emily is known because she is so kind with everyone especially the staff especially production you know that to see someone treating people so badly, I can see how you can be like, oh, shit. This is, this is a character uh, flaw, you know? Like, if you see someone treating a waiter or, or a housekeeper or a taxi driver or anything else, like, you know, or a valet parking, if you see them treat them badly, that is a character flaw. Right there. That is telling you everything that you need to know about that person. You know what I mean? So anyways, you know what? Bye, Alexis. Thank you, Emily, for exposing her. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of Orange County or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.